look guys let me just be honest about my real self you guys have not seen my real self on this channel my real self should be wearing the chanel tweed jacket that's my real self that's actually my destiny hey guys welcome back to the power closet a space for perspectives where conversation meets style if you're new here hi what's up my name is tumi and i make all sorts of videos from fashion conversation lifestyle and everything in between guys i finally have a hook that makes some sort of sense anywho today's video is a fashion one i'm talking about something that has been on my mind for a while and it is building a capsule wardrobe so if you've been following this channel I should have uploaded a video where I took you along to like Zara, Mango, etc, etc. I'll put a pop-up of it here. And I'm basically trying on things for the fall season. And I thought, okay, we did all this try on, like try on stuff in store. Let's actually talk about what we're going to build. But before rambling too much, let's just jump right into it. So what's the background to actually building this whole capsule wardrobe, starting a new life, etc, etc. I personally feel like I'm in a new season and I would declare it, I would keep saying it, I am in a new season. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, declare it, declare it. Anywho, so with new seasons, I feel like I just want a brand new wardrobe, like a fresh wardrobe. I'll have you know, it's also somewhat scriptural. You know, if you check Genesis 41, you'll see that when Joseph was promoted, he got fine linen and new clothes. So that is my way of justifying the ridiculous amount of money I have spent on clothing in the last like two weeks. The reason why I feel like a capsule wardrobe is important is because I hate buying things that I can only wear once and then I throw it away. I feel like it can be quite wasteful. It's a waste of money and that kind of thing really really turns me off so i thought we'll do a video where we actually discuss how i am thinking about what to buy why and then most importantly where i would say that the collection i'm building right now is me getting everything from saint laurent and like net porte no that's not what this video is about it's going to be affordable of course there will be some things that are more expensive than others as is everything but in general it's going to be a guide where you should go to what prices are what i've been buying well the first thing that i feel like is essential for building any kind of capsule wardrobe or trousers we're going to split this into two trousers as in trousers trousers and then jeans any wardrobe if you don't have good jeans i'm like so what exactly are you wearing especially because i live in england right and i think we need to do deliverance from the weather the weather has a mind of its own for example it's september right now and it's 31 degrees can someone make it make sense but something that i found is that in england particularly in london you need really good jeans because these can be worn in and out of season and i'm five seven finding jeans that fit like my proportions can be quite a chore i won't be able to try on jeans right now i feel like if you want to see a video where i'm trying on like jeans that i have which i think they're article i'll put it here it's like my fall video which you can go and look at that one but i will talk through some really great places that i get jeans that have gotten me a lot of compliments Number one is actually Zara. People are like, how can you buy from Zara? Zara like only accommodates to a certain body frame. I know what you mean. And the truth is, I'm a UK 10. I do not buy UK 10 Zara jeans. Like they will humble you. They will let you know that you're not as skinny as you think. <laughs> but instead, I actually buy a UK 14. In, when I buy Zara jeans and these tend to fit really well so I remember these jeans that people loved so much were the ones that had I think whales on them I will put a picture here that was a UK 14 building like a capsule wardrobe you you need good jeans so when I'm rebuilding my current wardrobe now I'm not really buying jeans because I have a lot of jeans as it is I started getting into like pattern jeans for like a pop of color and just for something a little bit exciting I didn't want to just get this simple black white and blue so I started getting pattern but if you're thinking of building a wardrobe first thing blue white black and also the blue there are different variations like the wash you need a good dark slash mid wash and then I think you just need dark and mid wash you don't really need the light wash. I would say light wash is super essential particularly if you're already gonna get white so dark slash mid spot on now black i feel like black can be so sweet especially when if you know like you're a trousers lady or a jeans lady that likes to go out in the evening because you can pair these with lots of really cute tops and it can be really really gorgeous so i mentioned my first place which would be zara another good place to check is actually h&m h&m you might have to try on quite a bit not going to lie i feel like i should do a video about that actually finding good jeans maybe i'll do that maybe i'll do that 
TBD. If you want me to do something like that, please comment below and then I can do that. We'll go to different stores, we'll try on jeans, and then you can see the price points, etc. etc. Anywho, that's the first piece of item that I think is essential. Now, the next thing will be tops. Okay, so blouses, shirts, anything really cute. I'm going to speak about day tops. So, dot <laughs> tops? tops that you can wear over and over again and night tops when you're building a capsule wardrobe you're not going to go on a shopping spree on like plt and buy all these skimpy tops that show all your assets it's like it's not giving capsule it's just giving let me not say anything before you go and drag me i'm like what like why would you do that that's not a capsule wardrobe i would say to have more of like a capsule wardrobe one that is quite clean neat stick to shirts and blouses that you can wear over and over again one of my best kept secrets for this is actually nakd fashion i know like i don't feel like a lot of people actually shop there but but i actually do sometimes and they have really good staples and they tend to do a lot of collections with influencers and there are some i know like the josephine i don't remember her last name but the josephine collection that they do over and over again she usually has really really amazing pieces and it's really nice and they do tops that are very very gorgeous and they're not that expensive even if it's super expensive all you need to do is find an influencer on instagram and get their discount code and you get a really good bargain on this so i would 100 percent recommend something like nakd i will put some pictures here of some things i've been seeing that i think are really really beautiful i tend to go for neutrals and then get a pop of color here and there but i'm not trying to be buying all orange all red tops because it's a capsule wardrobe and the point of that is for me to be able to build as many outfits as possible having a very small number of items so nakd another place would be h&m so h&m goes through seasons where they are like the maddest thing on the block and then they are like deader than dead right now if you're looking for where to shop just go and carry your whole money and like give it to them because they have amazing things like literally so many amazing items i feel like h&m has beautiful things i'll put all sorts of pictures here and you can see like the codes and maybe the links at the bottom too so you can knock yourself out but they have a lot of beautiful pieces right now and i feel that you can get like pieces that you can wear over and over and over again i remember seeing this one-handed top i recently bought this very gorgeous oversized shirt that was i think it had even like a pearl button detail which is amazing i mean i think it's sold out now but they tend things tend to come back in stock so definitely sign up for that but h&m right now ugh, oozing with perfection they have a lot of tops that are so gorgeous in terms of price point they tend to be around the 15 to 25 30 mark if you're doing the more expensive range so the premium selection which is where i get really really key pieces then it's usually around the 45 to 50 pound mark. But then I wear it over and over again. Like I'll never forget this brown turtle neck top that I got from H&M Premium. So many people have asked me about it. So like a, a gajillion times and I'm always like, it's, it's H&M comes and goes, like not comes and goes, it came, it's gone. Like it's not coming back. And I think it was like 28 pounds and it's, the quality is phenomenal. So definitely look into H&M. Zara, I mean, Zara I get for basics. So if you want like a basic white shirt, a basic fitted top, tops that you can wear over and over again, I would go to Zara. I'm not going to Zara for pattern stuff. Zara is for like the blacks and the whites. And another place is cause. But the truth is cause, <laughs> You're gonna need some money to do that because i remember the viral cause shirt which i will put here was 55 pounds i bought that as part of my haul so i'll speak about that in the video i upload outside this one but cause is also another place where you should get basics that have like blacks whites and getting shirts or pieces that you can wear in and out of season now the third section will be outerwear ah Something came to my mind when I was thinking about outerwear a while ago and it was like having bad outerwear is like baking a really nice cake and then when you put on the icing you just kind of just smash it all together and just like say it doesn't matter because the content is what is the most important. Will you eat the cake? Will you eat it? No. So why you get that? That is how I see outerwear. Outerwear is essentially the icing of a cake. If the cake is so good inside, so your inside outfit is banging, if your outerwear is bad, nobody will want to see it. It adds to your packaging and it is extremely important. It is extremely important. Don't be like, oh, it's just a jacket. Let me just throw on one fuzzy looking, scruffy. I don't even know the color is not even, I don't know if it is pink or if it is more. I don't even know what color you're wearing. Because you see some people wear the, 
the jacket color i can't discern what the color is i'm like is it white is it off white is it cream or is it brown which one um so outerwear is so important everyone needs amazing outerwear and the most important thing would be a trench coat particularly in the fall season do you know how much a trench coat can change your game it can literally take you from I'd say a 60 to 85 plus instantly or maybe even a 90 plus I would go as far as to say that because if you think about it you have a basic outfit right you put on this stunning trench coat or a stunning coat in general and then people automatically are like whoa I do this all the time black shirt black trouser trainers and then I'll go and wear one I don't know green jacket or green trench coats I'll put a video here I think it was on my TikTok where I was showing the power of one of my green faux leather jackets instantly you just look a little bit more elevated like it is so important and i feel like for trench coats when you're going into like september october period that is what i tend to wear the most and some of the best places that i've gotten these i'd say my my all-time fave will be frankie shop so frankie shop you're gonna need a little bit more money because i think they, those tend to range from about the 270 to about 450 500 pound mark i got mine for a crazy good discount i think mine was like maybe like 130 or 150 pounds i can't remember but if you watch my fall video from last year i remember that i styled it there and it was one of the best steals i have ever gotten i think i got it on farfetch like i said farfetch farfetch is a game changer they have so many amazing and they are forever doing one sale or one discount or the other farfetch is absolutely amazing if i find any good pieces from farfetch i'll put it below or i'll put it here for you to see but if you are willing to spend a bit more cash i would 100 percent recommend that i feel like good outerwear like you're not buying outerwear every single year so if you can put away like a 300 towards a really amazing piece i would 1000 percent recommend that and frankie shop is one good place that you can find something like that i also know there's pixie market Pixie Market, I try, I've seen their quality in Selfridges and like touched it. It looks amazing. I haven't tried on any of their trench coats, but might be one worth checking out because some of their stuff looks really, really gorgeous. Now, if you're thinking more affordable, more, you know, high street, Mango. Ah, oh, Mango. Mango, just, let's just get married together and just walk down the aisle. I love Mango. That place, eh? they need to lay hands on me because I love Mango. Mango and Zara, those are really, really good places that you can get amazing things. I haven't gotten a trench coat from H&M. I probably will only get it. Or not, I wouldn't say only. I would be more inclined to get it if I knew it was with the premium range as opposed to just the regular range. But again, if you feel otherwise and you're like, you've got to something amazing, please share your link. I, I, like, I'd love to see. But definitely those ones, as in Frankie Shop, Pixie Market, Zara, and Mango, they have amazing things. Now, still on outerwear, no one is rocking up with like a trench coat long all the time. Everyone needs a good jacket. And I know in this season, everyone is, do you know what I would actually love? in my capsule wardrobe like the capsule wardrobe that is actually meant for we were too many you know, is the jacket i should be having look guys let me just be honest about my real self you guys have not seen my real self on this channel my real self should be wearing the chanel tweed jacket that's my real self that's actually my destiny but you know how they say little by little i like, will drive them out clearly that is my that's currently what's ongoing but that's literally a dream i can't wait guys today i buy it in. Ah, you guys are going to be here would i actually unbox that i don't know tbd because i'm also super private so i wonder if i would actually do something like that but anyway the point is i love those kind of jackets the chanel tweed blazers i feel like they're very 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 tasteful but they're seven thousand pounds or eight thousand pounds so <laughs> not that many people have that kind of money to throw on a jacket so we have to look for something a little bit more affordable somewhere that i have been loving as in loving with my heart is massimo duty they have amazing pieces so i'm going to be quite frank massimo is not your everyday h&m zara clause etc it is a lot more expensive but it's not that bad if you think about it so i remember trying on this blazer it was 149 which is which is actually okay it's not that bad i think when you think about like the trenches and other oh i forgot to mention trenches too massimo oh, no, 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 no. amazing they have amazing pieces i was gonna put my hand on my lips in case you're wondering is that how they do it but i'm wearing lipstick so i'd rather not but anyway massimo does amazing blazers amazing jackets so i tried on the celine jacket in harris on my birthday 
I think it was like 2,600 pounds, which was a lot cheaper than I would have expected, but I still cannot afford to pay for that right now, particularly on <laughs> material. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. If you say bag, I can't even comprehend, but on a jacket, not right now. But anywho, Massimo's 149 jacket was beautiful. The, the quality, like I wore it and I was like to me, this is a jacket, this is a jacket. I didn't buy it because I bought something else. Again, I keep referring to the video that I'm going to have <laughs> upload after this one. But anywho, the jacket was gorgeous. Next thing we're going to be speaking about are shoes. Living in England or in any country that requires you to walk a lot, you're going to need really good sneakers. Unless you've been living under a rock. I feel like every single person knows that one of the hottest shoes of 2023 has been the Adidas Sambas and maybe if you want to also squeeze in the gazelles but the Sambas have truly been a game changer they have been amazing I like the fact that the Sambas are quite slender they're quite sleek and I think they look really cool you can wear them with dresses you can wear them with jeans you can wear them with trousers you can wear them with skirts it's very very ladylike which is even it's whetting my appetite to actually go and purchase them ASAP Rocky as opposed to as slow as I've been going but they're very very gorgeous shoes they're 90 pounds which I think is fabulous in comparison to how much I typically spend for like a designer sneaker which is way way more expensive but trainers are so so important another thing i feel like everyone needs in their collection i was going to get up and go and get it from my from my shoe closet but i'm so i said shoe closet as if i have a walk-in wardrobe no i don't my place where i put my shoes is no it's not that big yet yet you have to prophesy to yourself but yeah i was going to go get my ballet pumps from chanel so the ballet pumps are a must so in my current collection that i'm rebuilding i'm not trying to get another pair of ballet pumps but rather the sling bags my only issue with the chanel sling bags is that they're a bit of a nightmare in terms of sizing i mean 40 eu but if you're trying to get those you have to get your size and accept the fact that your foot will stick out a bit i'll put a picture of me trying them on at harrods or you go a size up and then accept the fact that the strap might fall off your feet i know that this doesn't happen for everyone but if you're spending 830 pounds on a pair of shoes and you have to make the trade-off of your shoes looking a little bit not very ladylike or you're having a bit of a nightmare where it's got just going up and down your feet it can be a little bit of a turn off so that's one of the reasons why i haven't gotten mine but if you have bought the chanel sling bags please can you comment below and tell me what you did and if there are any hacks that you have for me because it's 30 pounds and then you're not telling me that i have to accept that when i now take my picture like this hey, you're not be seeing my foot it's just like but why? So the sling bags, trainers, ballet pumps, and you also need a good sandal, but that is not, I wouldn't say it's super essential if you're building a capsule wardrobe. However, as I'm saying that, I'm rethinking it because that might not exactly be true. There is a pair of sandals that I love and it's the Hermes Chypress and oh, I remember when I got mine in black in Rome in the airport, so it was even on a discount. The favor of God is sweet. So it was even on a discount. And I wear those to death. I think I wear them every day at this point. I wear, I literally wear them every day. They're so comfortable. And if you can get them a classic color like brown or black, you actually, you will get your money's worth. I got it last year. I have worn them so much, like so, so, so much. I feel like I should actually buy another pair to be honest. Yeah, I feel like I, I definitely would. I got mine, you have to get a size up. So mine is a 41 and not a 40. And because it was a discount, because I got it tax free, so it was like 400 and something. But it's impossible to find them. So you usually have to pay a premium. But <laughs> like, like, the favor of God, you look at another one in the name of Jesus <laughs> for me. But definitely the shipwrecks if you have the extra buck to spend. Okay, the next thing we're going to be talking about is knitwear yeah this is another game changer i know i was very passionate when i was speaking about outerwear knitwear is another one it is so 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 important my rule of thumb is i tend to spend on my knitwear like i don't i don't like the idea of buying polyamide or any of these like interesting materials for something that's supposed to be keeping me warm i need good wool like really really high quality wool cashmere or something that any material that keeps me warm and I'll not be doing like this when I go out in the, in the winter, please. Like, I like, come. No, why? Why am I doing that? So, the honest truth is, I spend on knitwear. Like, I don't joke with knitwear. And I don't, okay, I already know what I'm trying to get in my collection. I'm trying to get another cardigan. And some of the ones that I've been looking at are the Axel Arigato because <laughs> I'm not quite sure that I want to give Kate's. So, the everyone knows the Kate, famous Kate cardigan. I bought that last year. Again, you can look at my last year's fall thing the case cardigan is it the lucy cardigan i think it's no the scarlet card 
loosely or scarlet i'll put it here anyway but that thing costs a lot of money and they've increased the price again so i'm like mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure that that's where I want to put my body, but I wouldn't mind buying the Axelari Gato one. That's usually a really, really good comparable, bit, at least based on TikTok, and the quality looks it looks phenomenal. So I'm thinking of getting that one. But knitwear, I feel like if you can afford to, it is one that definitely should be invested in. Another really great place is Joseph. So Joseph does amazingness. Like I have quite a few these like chunky turtleneck pieces that I would wear with like leather pants and like high like was it knee high boots and a simple bag and in winter I just look very put together and or like very cold fall nights that is also really really great and it also means you don't really have to think about what you're wearing on that because under just wear a basic t-shirt your knitwear does the talking you have really great boots and then a bag and you're ready to go so I feel like those kind of pieces like if you get really nice knitwear you can do the bare minimum with your basic layers that we've spoken about a few minutes ago and you look premium don't can't be choosing any funny thing because it all adds to how you look you know that packaging everything must come together so definitely look into joseph joseph does amazing knitwear really really good knitwear where else would i 100 recommend i remember the first ever knitwear i got it was from ralph lauren it was like the most i think it was the most expensive thing i ever bought then it was like a 300 dollars ralph lauren cashmere sweater that my mom insisted i pay with my own money because she had just bought me a bag and it's 300 dollars. i wore it to the point that it had holes don't do that like in fact, it was practically even uniform. I wore that thing so much back because if I'm going to spend money on something, I will make sure I use it out. I don't like to waste my money. This money doesn't grow on trees. You know how much it is to make one dollar. So that's why I guess I justify spending a heck of a lot on knitwear because I know I will wear it to my fourth, maybe when my fourth child is now going to a secondary school. So I'll give it away. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But. I'm sure you get the point. I'll try and put some really good ones. And if I find great alternatives from places like Arquette and Cos, I'll also link those below. Now, last but not least, jewelry. I know like people tend to overlook jewelry quite a bit. They're like, oh yeah, you know, your outfit does it all. No, 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 no. I feel like not wearing jewelry is almost like being naked, really. As a lady, it really adds a really soft touch to what it is that you're wearing. And some of my best kept secrets with jewelry, I'll tell, like I'm literally giving you guys secrets on a platter of gold. Okay, number one place is actually Mango. Mango does amazing pieces. My only caveat is, if you're like me that is an expensive babe and the life of luxury clearly is for her, all these fashion jewelries will hurt your ears like no man's business. So it does hurt my ears sometimes. Not all the time, sometimes. So the ones that I'm wearing right now, it doesn't hurt my ears. But Mango has amazing pieces. Now the next best kept secret that no one actually knows is anthropology. People don't know this, but anthropology does amazing amazing jewelry they do really good jewelry so i'm going to be doing like tiktoks showing you all the stuff that i saw in anthropology because i just got something from there like i got earrings from there so if you're not following me on tiktok or on instagram please do so because that's when i'm going to be showing all sorts of interesting stuff but they have stunning jewelry and i feel like jewelry really really adds to what you're wearing it doesn't even have to be anything fancy but it can just be some simple studs some really good hoops something interesting on your ear just be like mm, what's that she's wearing especially if you have like a sleek bun or like a low pony it just makes you look mm. anywho anthropology mango now if you're really interested in building like a more luxe collection i 100 percent recommend looking into chanel particularly vintage chanel i remember when i was in tokyo i got like my first pair of like chanel vintage earrings however i have to be quite blunt because i don't want to be lying to people that thing hurts my ears a lot it's because it's the clip-in one so it's not exactly the most comfortable thing i'll put a picture or a video here so you know what it is i'm talking about but it really really hurts my ears so just be mindful of that you might be better off just going directly into chanel and then seeing the kind of like studs that they have because i know that it can be so tasteful when you pair it really nicely with a really simple outfit and it's just something interesting particularly the ones that have like a pearl at the bottom it's like oh what's that you're wearing and it's not just your standard high street brand it's something a little bit more luxe because you have like the CC logo showing and yeah I think it's very tasteful I really 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 love Chanel earrings the next item we're going to be talking about is bags I almost forgot you bags complement and finish an outfit it's it's literally the finishing touch of, of an outfit and in building a capsule wardrobe I feel like you need to focus on colors that are more neutral more nice and you can wear it over and over again a brand that I really love that I feel like can be you done quite well is dragon diffusion it's very very tasteful it's not like your Chanel premium price but it really really is really good another one would be Pollen. 
is it Plan? I don't know, it's French, people really know it. Another one that people like is Goyard. Goyard is actually not that expensive. Unless you're buying the trunks, then ah, yeah, you're going to have to pay some money. But if you're getting some of their smaller things, it's actually not as expensive as people think. Of course, entry-level bags tend to be Louis Vuitton, um, as in entry-level luxury is, I would say, Louis Vuitton, like the Damier Bean, that, that is more entry luxury and those tend to be really good finishing touches in terms of what i'm thinking ah, i have to i have to be honest with you guys <laughs> i would say that my my wish is exactly entry level it's not entry level you should have seen that from the video i posted last week that my own current wish list is not entry level it is it needs to be anointed because i don't understand why that's what i want but i want what i want i'll say as a final comment i was debating adding this but I really feel like it's a game changer is perfume perfume is needed like everyone needs a really sooth i was going to say soothing scent but no i'm not trying to put you to sleep a scent that is ah you know like when i walk into the room let it be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, something is following me obviously not too overpowering to the point that people want to shoot you but i love myself a good scent i'm an oud girl through and through like i love oud i really really do, do love oud and i'm looking for a new perfume i have some that i have in mind that i have tried and i'm like stewing on them but if you can recommend any really good one i'll tell you some of my faves Armani Privé is has always been a fave, but I'm trying to get new ones into my collection. Having good scents is also something that can really step up your wardrobe and just make you feel a little bit more put together um, as a whole. But let me know if there's anything you feel like I left off or something I should definitely have touched on. Remember, it's a capsule wardrobe, so we're really focusing on essentials. We're not trying to go too crazy. Thank you, guys. This is now the end of the video. I feel like this is really long, but I hope you have found it informative and it's giving you a thing or two to think about when you're thinking about building a new wardrobe and just like starting afresh. So if you're really thinking about investing in your clothes and you get this like nudge that you should, I 100% think you should go for it. I know how much my clothes have really empowered me and made me feel more comfortable in the season it is that I am walking in. I hope that this video was very informative and it gave you like brands and ideas and actual items that you can shop for. They are not affiliate links so please knock yourselves out. They're all um, at the bottom and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with someone who you feel like needs it or needs a bit of a refresh. Comment. I love seeing you guys comments and responding. If you want me to do something please let me know but it was nice chatting to you. Bye guys!